let's determine if this series converges or diverges. Now this section was on alternating series and I don't see that little negative 1 to the n or n plus 1 or whatever, but if we look at this a little closer, we see that the numerator is cosine n pi and if n was 1, cosine of pi is negative 1 and then if this was 2, n was 2, cosine of 2 pi is 1 and if it was 3, cosine of 3 pi is negative 1 and so this actually is going to just be an alternating negative or positive 1. So we actually could write this, if we didn't want to write the cosine, we could write it as an alternating series and seeing that little negative 1. Now we would want to start this then with an n. So if we put in 1, we get our negative 1. When we put in 2, by the time we do the even power, we get our positive 1. And so we could write that like this and those would be equivalent. Those would end up doing the very same thing. So these are equivalent and so we really do have an alternating series here. And so let's consider what we need for our requirements. We need this piece to be positive and we see that it is. We need this to be decreasing and we see that if we let n be 1, then 2, then 3, that that would be decreasing. And we also need the limit as n goes to infinity of this to equal 0 and we see that it does. So by the alternating series test this series converges. Now if we're looking at the positive series this is the harmonic series and we know it does diverge but when we get the alternating on there this does converge. 